Guys, it's unusual that I get a knife like that, this, that I find so visually intriguing yet be so bad. And this is 100% just my opinions on this. You guys know what we're looking at. You can see it there. It's the Paragon Warlock. And so we're gonna look at what, in my opinion, is the worst gravity knife on the market at the price point, because it's pricey. Now, before we get into this, I will say that Asheville, Asheville Knives, or Asheville Steel Paragon make a lot of products that I really, really do love. They they have a tomahawk called the War Party. I've gotten to handle a couple of those. Those things are awesome. They're a beast. The X-Bolt OTF, I think, is the one. It's their push-button OTF. Um, it's a lot like some of the other just single-action OTFs. That is a really good knife. And all of their out the sides have just been awesome that I've ever handled. This is their misstep. And this is one of their most, this is like their flagship knife. And it's just not, you can see right there, it's not good. It's got a lot of things. It's got a lot of problems. Now, I will tell you, the blades are very well done. They do a really good job on their dagger grinds. They're using quality materials-ish. It's S30V. I'm not a big fan of it. Um, they're using quality aluminum and, and things like that. My problems with this all stem from this is just not a good gravity knife. I have a very good gravity knife. It's very simple. It's very easy. There are very few things that can go wrong in the deployment of the XO gravity knife. Everything can go wrong in the deployment on this. So let's look at that. This is a clamshell design aluminum gravity knife. And your operation comes from squeezing that and it opens up the clamshell, and then the blade is allowed to fall free. If you do it just perfectly, it's great. The problem is it's never going to be perfect, and I'll tell you why. You have to only hold it at the single point. If you put any tension, see right there? If you put your hand on that, in, and I mean I am just barely, barely touching that, you run into that where it pinches, and you have to fight with it. The other thing is the way it's carried with a very, very weak pocket clip. It's not, you have to pull that out of your pocket, then realign your grip, and then hope that you don't have any tension on that or you will not get it to deploy. And then once it does deploy, you got to fight with it, get it in the right position. It's just not a really good design for a gravity knife. People, people see these and they think gravity knife, it's tactical. This absolutely is. This absolutely is a very tactical deployment knife. It's very easy to deploy, very easy to use in a high tension situation. This, not so much. Uh, other things that I have problems with this are uh, the construction standards on them. I've never seen one of these that holds up very well because of the problems with the aluminum and things like that. But mainly... That shape is just not good. This shape just wants to slide out of your hand. It's not a very good shape or design. I do like the shape of the blade. It is attractive. These Warlock series, um, Paragon Warlocks, are very, very attractive in the blade. There you go again. In the blade area. That's a very good dagger ground blade. I like the look of it. But everything else is just pretty bad. In my opinion, these are all my opinions. I know a lot of people just love these. Uh, the standards on these, really, really poor. Look at that. That is not something that just screams quality at the $250 to $390 price point, depending on where you're purchasing these. This is a $400 knife some places, and it is just pretty bad in my opinion. It doesn't have a good overall experience at all. Pocket clips, the pocket clip is uncomfortable. Everything about this is just something that does not scream something I would want. And then on top of it, the deploy, like I said, on top of just the, the price point and everything, there is no real good case for this knife to be carried. Um, the Exo Gravity Knife, if you put this in its sheath, if you're somewhere where you can carry this, this is a very good, easy deployment knife, and it's a good blade shape. This really does not bring anything to the table that I like. These are all my opinions, but like, I wouldn't pay, I would not pay $100 for this, let alone the cheapest I found, 250 
upwards of 390 some places and on the secondary market when look at that on the secondary market when they're not available you can pay more than that so i just really think that this was this was just kind of a misstep from uh from them and they try to capitalize on the niche goofiness of it the other thing about these are I've never seen one that does not start to develop a lot of play. Um, the screws and everything that are in this, uh, they strip really easy. They lose that tightness. And just like I said, that is just such a, this is just a cavalcade of, of missteps and mistakes. I don't like anything about this knife except the blade itself. Um, if they were to offer that blade, in a fixed blade boot knife with a better handle, I would buy it. I absolutely would. And like I said, they make good quality products. I like most of their other things outside of this, their gravity knives. Now they do have other versions of this that are not the dagger shape. They have more of a conventional handle shape, but I don't find those to be any better because when you pull this knife out, first of all, it's, it's, it's like this. So your, your, your mechanism is down here. You have to pull it all the way out of your pocket. And you have to grab a hold of it. Well, if you grab a hold of it like a regular knife, you're not going to deploy that. So you have the same problem with the with the other style. And I'll put a picture. I'll put a picture up of the other gravity knives they have, and I'll get pictures of the other items I mentioned um, and put them in. But I just don't. I just don't think that this is a product that I ever could recommend. I would never purchase it. I, I honestly was surprised that Jared even sent it to me and I'm doing this video just because a lot of people don't realize how how bad these are in my opinion. They just don't realize it and then they get them and they feel disappointed. And, and once you get one of these, if you carry it for any amount of time, just this, I believe that these scuffs and nicks you see on this have all occurred here at the house and I've never even put it in my pocket. It's only been out for just review and demonstration. So yeah, absolutely zero out of five stars. Do not recommend. I do, however, recommend you check out Coffee Brand Coffee, coffee, tea, cocoa, uh, co uh, chocolate covered espresso beans, roasted to order, delivered to your door. And they come, it comes with a hundred percent money back guarantee. Supporting the channel, big shout out to my channel sponsor, Coffee Brand Coffee. Now let's turn this around, do some final thoughts and send you out about your day. So there you go, guys. I do, like I said at the very beginning of the tabletop part, I do like a lot of the Asheville Steel um, Paragon products. They, they have a long list of products besides just their gravity knives. I just think that the gravity knives, they're, they're just not, they're, they're a novelty and they're not really good in in execution and deployment. So that's it on this one, guys. Please don't get upset. Like I said, 100% my opinion. Uh, this is just this is just something that I have found having handled a lot of these, that they're just something that I find to be a novelty, not a usable product. So guys, if you like the videos, give them a thumbs up. If you don't like them, give them a thumbs down, but tell me why I can't change the content if you don't tell me what you don't like. Make sure you ring that bell. Hit the like button. All those things, they support the channel. If you want to support the channel financially, I've got a handful of uh, stuff down below. Mainly my channel sponsors, Tempered Trail, Coffee Brand Coffee. Either one of those, you can use coupon code Crazy Sharp at checkout. Uh, that's capital C, capital S, all one word. Saves you 5% at checkout. Dahlstrong knives down there as well. If you cannot find a knife on Dahlstrong's site, you're not looking hard enough. If you can't find the knife you want, then you probably don't want that uh, knife because they probably have it. Um, other ways you can do it, I have got a, a Amazon store down below. I'm still building the ideas list, but there's stuff there that you can check out. Knives under $100, classic cold steel, great budget knives, uh, tools for use for knife maintenance. And uh, I also have a membership where you can get in on the tier-based benefits. Everyone gets early access to my videos the second I post them. Everyone that's a member has access to my Gilded server, which is just like Discord, where we hang out. It's a madhouse, a lot of fun in that place. And uh, baseline and premium tier members are entered into giveaways that I do separate of YouTube. They're automatically entered. They don't have to do anything. And the premium tier guys have access to a sharpening tutorial series here on YouTube behind the paywall. So... Uh, that's pretty much it, guys. I love y'all. Keep it clean in the comment section. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. And I'll see you in the next video.